this video, we will demonstrate an interactive sound effects scene using the iCubex digitizer and QLab. The scene we created is that of a late night altercation on a cold, wintry mountain. On a windy night, a man becomes irritated by a howling wolf outside his cabin. He opens the door, walks through the snow, and shoots the wolf. For this demonstration, we used three Y microdigs, three touch sensors, two in the shoes and one in the gun, iCubex link software, which can be downloaded at www.iCubex.com download, and QLab Live Show Control for Mac. This demo assumes that you already know how to configure your Y microdig with Link. Instructions for doing so can be found at the web address below. QLab is a multimedia playback Q-based software designed for theater and live entertainment. Together with iCubex and Link, it can be used to create an interactive soundscape, like the one in our snowy mountaintop scene. Here we have created a QLab scene. Some sound effects must be cued explicitly, for example the sound of the door opening. However, when the actor walks in the snow, touch sensors in his shoes are used to trigger the snow footstep sound effect. The other sensor is in the gun, and cues a rifle shot. We began this project by mounting touch sensors into the heel of each shoe with tape, and one sensor to the trigger of the gun. Then we plugged these sensors into the Y microdigs and securely mounted the ensemble onto the actor. After setting up the physical sensors, it was time to program them with Link in QLab. Here I'll show you how to do so for the snow footsteps cue. First, make sure that the Y microdigs are enabled and that Link is receiving the raw sensor information on port 1 in this instance. Now open processing for that particular sensor and click enable. What is necessary here is that we have Link send a signal to QLab to cue the sound whenever the actor steps. This means that we want Link to send only one message per step. This can be accomplished using the threshold function, which sends a signal only when the input has passed a certain value. Enable Threshold and have the actor step. Select a threshold value that is easily passed, even on light steps. It is also important to make certain that the sensor value passes below the threshold when the actor lifts his foot, or else the trigger will not be sent on the next step. Finding the appropriate value depends on the exact way the sensor was mounted, and will require some trial and error. Now, we must make sure that this trigger is being sent to QLab. Open Output Settings, and Enable. Here we are going to send a MIDI note on message. Make sure that the output port is set to QLab, and that the sensor controls velocity. Note number and channel number can be set to any value, but make certain to remember these values. Here we set our channel number to 1, and note number to 64 for the shoes. We will set the note number to 72 for the gun. Now, open QLab and go to the sound clip that you want to cue. In this case, Snow Footsteps. Click on the Triggers tab and arm the MIDI messages. Set to Note On and the note number used previously, in our case 64. Now when the actor steps, it will trigger the sound required. The exact same method is used for the rifle shot sound, except the MIDI message is set to the value we used for the sensor of the gun, in this case, 72. Now when the actor pulls the trigger on his gun, a rifle sound effect will play. Now that we have set up the sensors, programmed Link to send triggers to QLab, and configured QLab to receive them and cue the appropriate sound effects, we are ready to film our scene.